Okay. I have just gotten back not maybe a half hour, hour of watching the Transformers movie, Rise of the Fallen. See? There's my proof. I just saw it with my brother, and I gotta say, it kicked ass. It was really, really good. Uh, the action was there. I thought the acting was pretty good. I know a lot of people don't seem to like Shia LaBeouf. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, but I thought he did pretty good. This one, he seemed a little, or at least the character they had it, seemed more uh, dramatic and a little bit more serious. Don't get me wrong, there were those quirky, comical moments, but uh, overall, I'd, I'd say it seemed a little bit more uh, dramatic than comical compared to the last movie. Um, I can't give away too much, um, as much as I really want to, because there's just, just a lot of stuff that I felt was, well, I'm sorry, there was one thing I felt that was unnecessary, and a lot of unanswered questions in regard to the Transformers that appeared. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, but, but it was great. The, the music was moving, the action was loud, and really got your attention. You know, like any good movie, half the time you forgot you were in a theater, you thought you were, like, actually there. I know it sounds corny, but if you ask me, that's what makes a good movie. Um, so Michael Bay did good again, yay. Saw some previews. Um, I think five previews is a little bit too many. We saw previews for the Avatar movie, uh, Airbender. That's uh, directed by M. Not Shyamalan, so I'd say that's got a 50-50 shot of working. Um, what else did we have? Oh, we had the new Harry Potter one, and even though I've never read the books, that's actually looking kind of decent. A um, couple of other ones. Oh, the 2012 one, uh, and the Nostalgia Critics are going to have another one to kind of mock at because it's done by the same people who did Independence Day and Godzilla, and he's already made fun of that they make these great trailers, but then you go see the movie, and the movie blows. So there's that one to look forward to, I'm sure, on some form of a review, maybe by the bum. Um, but uh, back to the Transformers, I, I mean, I think it did very well. Um, I think they could pull off maybe doing a trilogy out of it. I think anything past that might kind of kill it. Don't even talk to me about Saw. They've just killed the damn franchise. Um, but everything worked out okay. Uh, again, I liked it. I know this is kind of brief, but I don't want to give away any spoilers. So, you know, I'm kind of stuck. But, uh, yeah, absolutely. Go check it out. Go see it. It was a good movie. I really don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, I grew up in the 80s. I'm 26 years old. So I grew up with that Transformers. You know, good old classic one. I mean, like, my nitpicking about it is I never cared for it, even from the first movie. I mean, it was great seeing them there. You know, it was great, you know. But I could never stand Optimus not having his face shield on. I'm sorry. That pissed me off. It really did. From the start of the movie, I hated it. All I'm like is, why does Optimus Prime have bird lips? And it always looked to me like he was talking out of his chin. It didn't look like he was talking from his mouth. So, I, I don't know. Um, you know, then of course the paint jobs, and I know they have to modernize everything, so they have to give him more, you know, up-to-date vehicles, and that's why Bumblebee doesn't get to be a bug, you know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I think me and my brother felt that certain Transformers didn't get enough screen time, and, uh, but, you know, it was kind of cool. You get to meet a new character, an older character, um, that probably nobody else knows about unless you've read spoilers, but, uh, he was, he was cool, yeah. He, uh, I, I guess the best way I can put it is, like, that quirky grandpa you like going over to his house, um, even though he's kind of telling old war stories over and over again, but, yeah, that, that was cool. It was, it was sad at times. <laughs> it really got to you sometimes, you know, and then there's the times where it's like, yeah, they did, yeah. Okay, leave me alone. It was a good movie. Shut up. Point is, <laughs> it was good. I think it was possibly even better than the first one. If you get the chance, go see it. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. Um, and that's that. Uh, hopefully you guys will see those little bits that I really want to talk about, but I can't. Um, that, I mean, there's there's one scene completely at the end that I don't see how you can, you know, you probably laugh at it, but I absolutely feel it's completely unnecessary. I did not care for that scene at all. Um, and, uh, yeah, just at the end of it, you're, you're gonna look at some of the Transformers and, and, and kind of go, well, where'd this one go? Where'd these go? You know, like I said, there's those unanswered questions. So, again, 
go check it out. I thought it was a great review. Um, thought it was a great movie. And, uh, you know, I like movies. I'm a movie buff. I know I'm, I've been reviewing animes, but uh, I like movies. I've grown up with movies. My mother owned a video store. So, movies are my life. So, again, just go. Go see it. Go now. Go. Now. I'm telling you. Okay, bye.